Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ. Mods are out and we've got eight new mods to take a look at. And the great thing is, they're all for all platforms. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub. So get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss any. It's got a train, yes! Let's start off today with a bunch of air balloons. The old stream farm from Black Sheep Modding is here. Brand new map for all platforms. This is a famous farm from the 1970s and it is back for even more fun. I think this has been around since Farm Sim 15, if I'm not mistaken. So you've got at least three or four games there where this has been around and it's back better than ever. First off, let's just take a look at the PDA because it is much larger than it used to be right now i think we are i have no idea where we are but we're right here i mean look at the incredible the absolute incredible amount of detail there's stuff for everybody there's places all over the place uh if we go in we'll take a look do we have a production chains we start off with no so you're gonna have to either put down your own or maybe buy some areas we'll take a look at that soon enough uh, we've also got an area here north end of the map. Uh, this was where we were driving around cotton harvesters in Farm Sim 19. Um, a little quickly. Yeah, it's it's all logging and, and uh, fields now, which is pretty sweet. That is awesome. And then you probably want to know about your main farm. Well, here it is. The old stream farm. And the stream is still around here as well. There she is. Whoop, whoop. What do you think? Not too bad, huh? Not too bad at all. We'll kind of do a bit of a fly around here just to kind of give you an idea of what's what and where's where. We will be doing a full video on this map. So be ready for that. It's probably going to drop maybe about 24 hours after this one does, something like that. Let's take a look at, uh, well, PDA to start with and see what we've got, where's around, and things like that, as well as owned areas. So we can click that and get an idea that, uh, well, quickly. We can see we can own a few of the areas around, but mainly everything else that we own is right here. Now we can sell it, but at zero dollars, I don't know why you would want to sell the stream itself. Very cool, great to see the map around. If you want to buy some extra fields around, they're not too bad, uh, 90, 118, let's see, 76, 45, 54, 72. So you've got some cheapisher fields around. Uh, we go in and take a look at the crop calendar. This is what your crop calendar is looking like. So if this helps you out, perfect. There you go. Not too bad as far as weather goes either. It's a beautiful map. Absolutely beautiful. And it does look, so I'm going through around right now and looking at all these cell points. And it's looking like they're all on owned land, which... Uh, could be a good thing, you know, if you, if you want it to be a good thing. Uh, the problem is, that means that none of the productions are on here. So you're going to have to do your own, very likely. Again, we'll take a look at that. As far as new farmer goes, what are we going to get? Well, let's go, ooh, take a look at the used stuff. Not too bad, good set of used their own equipment. We got the Fent Favorite 511. We also have a John Deere 7810. We got the Joyce Far Harvester. We do have a Schaefer front loader as well. That's kind of cool. We get the 2017 pickup, Kloss trailer, the header to go with that. We also have a teeny tiny little plow. You'll probably sell that. A uh, nice three meter cultivator for you guys. Cedar's looking good there. Got a nice front loader for the front loader, trailer for your header. And then we have two weights. We got the John Deere and we have the 10 Winkle. So there you go. If we make our way over to the Xbox today, we're on the Xbox Series S. However, these things are gonna apply to the Xbox Series X and the PS5. If you guys are on uh, the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, well, just take your slot, so your primary slot usage down. So we start with 1,066 slots used up. However, if we go in and try and sell literally everything that we possibly can, we're going to end up with less slots. However, I want to go around and show you guys that you can quite literally sell like everything. Delete manure 101. Yes. <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's see. We could delete the uh, main area here. We could delete these buildings. Yep. Go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, a couple little things. Oh, did I delete it all? Nope. We still got a few more things. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Delete manure number two. Yup. Delete manure number one. Yup. Can we delete this little building? Sure can. How about this one? Absolutely. Uh, it doesn't look like we can delete the... Oh, nope. 
JK home slices. Uh, what about these? Yes. Yep. 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 All right. I think that's everything. Well, uh, we've got plenty of money now. 885 grand. However, uh, what's our slot usage? Because this is going to be super, super important. Uh, looks like we're down to 914. So, uh, what was that? A hundred slots gotten rid of if you delete everything. So, uh, keep in mind, it does appear that the map is pretty slot heavy on its own. So, just be aware and be ready for it. I know this was a quick look, but we will do a more in-depth dive into the map itself in about a day. So make sure you guys are subscribed, that way you don't miss it. Next up, we got some modded versions of the McCormick tractors from Agatron Modding. We've got the X7VT and we've got the X8VT. These are going to be 13 slots for the smaller one and 12 slots for the larger one, respectively, on consoles. Taking a look at these, we've got Trelleborg, Michelin Tires, Continental Midas, BKT, Bradstein, and Nalkian Tires. Different wheel setups, choose whatever you like. Warning signs, we've got yes or no, front loader, no. We get the quickie, Hauer, nothing there as well. Uh, appearingly, obvious, same engines that we've got. Uh, main color, we can change it up to a darker red. Uh-huh, looking good, looking good. License plate, everything's fine. And then we've got the exact same, well, almost the same setup, minus the front loader on the McCormick there. Now, my question, I think, is, because I don't use these tractors much, so I'm not seeing them every day. What did we have to begin with? So the colors were the same. The rim colors were the same. The engines are the same. The front loader is the same uh warning signs being added maybe uh this is definitely one of those where i look at it and think what has changed so uh nonetheless there you go uh they oh they have said that there are some animations so the doors could be changed the rear window could be opened but uh at the end of the day, it's other than those mouse control features this is kind of still like the base game feature so just heads up from red cat we got a couple anaburger trailers for you we got the hts 2203 and we've got the 2903 these are going to be seven and eight slots respectively let's take a look at some customization 44,000 liter capacity weighs 10 tons and then we've got quite a few different setups for wheels Drelleborg, michelin bkt and for right stein we can add a cover if you want to i do love those covers and the main color you can change this up if you want to as well fortunately i don't see what it's changing so there is that plus she got a license plate on there as well similar thing here same wheel setups you've got same wheel options cover yes and no main color maybe this will tell us what's changing man it, am i just missing oh it's the hub hubcaps oh okay uh, then that's it there you go after being in testing for almost a month and going back and forth and back and forth we've got the metal tech wp8 from matt 26 it is finally here also i think there's some shaky animations there might be some pretty sweet animations on here regardless um 8000 liter capacity this is a uh, food mixer so if you're doing smaller farms where you got 10 or 15 cattle well this is probably going to be a great feed mixer for you guys weighs 3.7 tons 65 horsepower required so low power requirement trelleborg lizard continental bkt trelleborg again wheels all of them are standard plus you get a license plate on here yep, very cool super standard but Great, great detail, looking fresh. Oh, and you probably want to know about the slot countage as well. It's going to be four slots. From AAA Modding, we have the Condor C8540. This is going to be a new plow for you guys. Uh, it's a very small one, two meters, 180 horsepower. So a lot of horsepower for what it actually is. 2.1 tons, seven miles per hour, and red or blue. It's going to be three slots. There's really not a whole lot more to it. From Jelinek, we have the Cabello Quasar F4. This is a four row corn header. Yeah, very nice. Three meters on here, six miles an hour. Nothing too fancy about it, but it's nice and small. You could do Cabello stickers or not. You can debrand it, which is kind of cool. Plus all colors, all base game colors. That is great. Very, very cool. This is going to be perfect for those smaller combines. Maybe the uh, raw smash, stuff like that super super neat i am down with this 
It's also two slots, so super low slot usage. Nearing the end of our mods for today, your next to last new mod and next to last mod period is the machine shed from the little farmer. It's this 40 meters by 50 meters. It is pretty big. It does slope from front to back. So if you guys are pulling stuff in, just know that ahead of time. You don't want to pull in the wrong way and go bonk right on the top. Great detail, looking good, lighter colored wood. We do have Support Your Local Farmers logos on here, which is super nice. We've even got a huge mural on the back as well. So it's not just a plain shed. They actually made it and then said, what can we do to make it better? The, uh, I think a lot of time has been spent on this and it definitely, definitely shows from the little farmer. This is a five-star shed right here. And your last mod today is actually a mod that you kind of got to work for a little bit. You are going to need, uh, you're going to need some, some belt stuff right off the bat. Just a heads up, get yourself some augers. The Unia Storage. These are from the Flying Dutchman and we've got... Deer is taking off. Uh, we've got two of these actually. Where are you going, bro? Get out of here. We've got a silo and we've got a container as well. We're gonna have to turn our help windows on and stuff like that. So if we come over here, it said at the sticker. Oh, the back sticker. Look at that. So here we can fill, refill, do whatever we want. Uh, it does look like these are going to be auger wagon crops only, so do keep that in mind. Um, so you have a silo, and you can actually buy things to go in your silo, so that's kind of cool. And then you've got, right here, your container. Yeah, pretty neat. If we go into silos, this is going to be the very, very end right here. 27,300 liter capacity. And then if we go into container... We'll be able to find one maybe about halfway down in 27,300 liters. Um, the biggest thing is I can't figure out what the, uh, the difference is. I think one's a silo and the other one has to be bought from. You can't put stuff in it. They're a little bit confusing, but they are very cool. So check them out. And check out this segue to the outro, but it's not in a news video. It's in a mod video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Again, the map tour of this map is going to be dropping in 24 hours from this video. So be ready for that. If you haven't, uh, be ready to see it. I'm sure some other people will post videos in the meantime. So definitely check theirs out as well. Otherwise, I hope you have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. Have a too, uh, too good weekend. Hey, I didn't know what the T word was going to be. And uh, we'll see you later. Only at Super Bowl. Party! Peace!